Hello everyone, my name is Prince Hiti and today again we are going to understand how you can send emails through VBA but uh, in this case we are going to send our emails to a multiple recipients so in our last video we have understand how you can send basic emails if we have only one recipient okay so if you see this 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 is a code which we have right in our last video so I'm using the same code but in 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 this code in this code we are having more than one recipient so if I'm running this code so I'm pressing F in so if you see this was the code over there there was a simple one recipient over there and this was our subject so we are going to include few th few more things over here so I'm pressing 9 over here so machine few my recipients over here like uh, Okay, I'm mentioning over here like there are a few recipients like first would be prince8009 at gmail.com second would be prince8009 at gmail.com same way like I do have city underscore prince at gmail.com and might be prince dot city get outlook.com and few more are there okay so these are my recipients I'm making it this way so how can you use this thing I'm straight forwarding I'm reaching again to VBA data so first of all I need to mention how many mail IDs I do have so for that you can use the same concept to find last row or last cell or just to count how many email IDs we do have so for that I can use count a approach or I can use uh, last row find like this way I'm saying the last row as integer oh, sorry last row as integer and I'm saying it would be on sheet 1 so I'm saying LR would be sheet one dot range j six five five three six dot and excel up dot row so it would give me the last cell in this particular column so I can identify how many mail IDs I do have okay so for that okay I need to mention few things in my body as well so I can take one more variable let's suppose uh, this would be the case that I need to mention in uh, my body so I'm saying hello dear sorry so, I'm mentioning, so this would be going to be the text which comes under body so I'm saying hello dear how are you I'm saying I'm saying regards please okay so this is the contents which I am going to en enter on my mail so this comes under body these are my two two or if you want to make it subject as well so even you can do this thing also so anyhow so reaching over there so this will calculate my last row so I'm taking uh, one more variable which is for body so I'm mentioning dim b d y or b o d y whatsoever body as string okay so I'm saying body is equals to sheet one dot range it's lying in m1 m1 dot value so this would be this would be my body value okay and uh, I need to use these variables so for that I need to use I need to employ array functions over here so 
so I'm taking okay so over here I'm aware that there are four mail IDs basically okay so if you are sure that it would be 4 or it would be 10 it would be I mean if you have a constant value so you can mention this thing like dim what is that like I'm saying x or as a string or whatsoever but in this scenario we have fixed the length of my array which is 4 okay so I'm taking this one also as of now okay so later on we'll make it dynamic as, as well by using reading okay, so I think we have done okay so this will be our array you can say static array you can uh, make it I mean fixed array later on will make it dynamic uh, okay so I need to run my loop just because I need to capture these four values so I'm saying for i is equals to one two four again okay, need to declare a variable i I'm saying dim i as uh, integer oh sorry it would be yes it would be integer okay I need to capture these four values so I'm saying x of i would be sheet one dot range which would be, it would be j and i and j and i dot value so it will be put in x x1 x2 x3 x4 or you can mention one more thing over here like by default your array would be start with zero okay so we can make it it should be start with one so i'm making it option based one like so that my array would start with one okay so this would capture my all the four values okay uh, thereafter i need to put in an another variable so this is for input okay same way i'm taking one more looping for n is equals to one two four again okay. next n again need to define one more variable so dim n as in teaser so this is for input this is for output i'm making it bit down over here i'm saying j is equals to j and x of n and I'm making it this way so that like if you see in my outlook I would mention like this way so like I'm mentioning so it would be prince city and thereafter there would be a semicolon then next 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 and so on okay so over here if you see I mention first of all j j would be blank x and n value which would be my first value which would be prince towards at gmail.com and therefore thereafter a semicolon would be there would move next thereafter then it would capture the next value in j we already have prince towards at gmail.com and it will again attach this next value which would be prince at dot zero nine dot sorry zero nine zero one at gmail.com so mean to say this all the four values would be concatenation and again in between there would be semicolon okay so this would be for output and thereafter again this concept would comes into a picture I'm saying okay I'm making it bit upside so okay on two uh, over here I am I'm having a fixed values however as of now 
I have put all the four values into J. Okay, so I think J I didn't didn't find, so I'm mentioning it in dim J as string. Okay, so okay, two would be my Jth value. Subject I already mentioned. Okay, in place of display, making it delete. Okay, so I'm using attachment as well. So for that I'm using attachment attachment dot add uh, next would be asking for source code okay source code either you can mention the full path of your file which you want to attach or if you want to attach this particular files so this is a file I think so okay so for that you can mention active workbook dot full name full name would return the full path of this particular active workbook so which which would be included in your attachment uh, and thereafter I'm saying okay make it display as well okay I'm not going to send any email as of now so hopefully this this, this needs to be work so okay I'm pressing F5 to run this code let's see uh, if everything work fine or not so as of now I'm taking it for uh, as I already told you that it's been fixed array so we'll make it dynamic as well so I'm pressing F5 so it's running yes if you see this is the attachment this would be the subject and these are the mail IDs so if you press control here so that's it so okay so one more concepts over here how we can make it dynamic I'm pressing no as of now so for that there is a keyword which is called redim okay in place of 4 in a place of 4 if I can mention take it as a LR I means if I'm having 4 then make it 4 if it's 5 or 10 so make it in this way also like okay so I'm mentioning my fifth mail ID let's suppose it would be abc at the rate uh, gmail.com so I'm taking a few dummies values as well xyz at hotmail.com blah 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 af okay so if in place of 4 my loop will run till lr same way in place of 4 it would be run as l till lr that's it I think so okay let's check once again so I'm pressing play or f5 exactly so if you see abc gmail xyz gmail already there okay so one thing I have left to include which is called body if you see there's nothing comes under body just because I haven't mentioned this statements over here but I'm mentioning body uh, I think is equals to we have taken variable called body if you see this is the variable okay so I'm mentioning body over here again pressing F5 pressing f5 if you see perfectly fine so if you see these are the um, the values comes under two this is my subject line this is my attachment and this is the contents which coming over here so i hope you have understand this concept and you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching have a nice day